Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Plant Transpiration. In order for plants to survive, they must have water. Much of the water is absorbed by the roots and transported to the leaves, flowers, and stems. When a plant grows, it uses some of the water for photosynthesis, but doesn't use all of the water. Plants release the excess water in a process called transpiration. This process of water movement through a plant and its evaporation from its aerial parts is an important part of the water cycle. Let's take a look at transpiration in real life. Okay, here's my setup for the demonstration of transpiration. I have a simple plant that I got from Lowe's, a bell-shaped jar, some aluminum foil that I'll use to prevent the evaporation of the moisture from the soil, and then I have a light attached to a simple little wooden brace. So let's get started. The first thing I need to do is cover up the dirt of the soil with the aluminum foil. I'm going to use the aluminum foil to cover up the dirt so that the moisture from the dirt uh, does not evaporate and that would appear as if that's transpiration. So give me just a second and I'll get that covered up. As you can see, I have the dirt covered up with the aluminum foil. I used the aluminum foil mainly because I thought the plastic would be very hard uh, to see on video. You could use plastic also. The main goal is just to cover up the dirt so that the moisture uh, from the dirt uh, is not evaporating and looks like transpiration like that. Now all I do is get the jar, cover it up, and I'm going to start my stop. I'm going to start the clock the timer and we will check back hopefully every 30 minutes if you can't see it here's what it's at okay and I'll come back in 30 minutes and we'll get a little idea what uh, if there's any transpiration going on it has been 32 minutes and you can read the clock there and as you can tell, there's already quite a bit of moisture that has developed among the sides of the jar. I'll get in really close. And there's been a lot of water vapor already collecting. I'll come back in another 30 minutes and see if it continues. It has been close to an hour. It's been 51 minutes. And I'd like for you to see how much, just in an hour, the amount of moisture that uh, got on the sides of this glass. You can see, okay, see a little bit how much moisture is there. Okay, so again, transpiration, it's when plants release moisture into the air that they have... Uh, Got the moisture from the roots, from the groundwater, or the water in the soil, and soaked it into their leaves and stems, and then release it into the atmosphere. So there we go. 